watching First News at 4 on KBTX. So we are practically one month into 2023. Maybe that New Year's resolution of getting healthy, not quite there. Don't worry, you're going to get a second chance. Starting next month, it is Walk Across Texas. And here to explain what that is, we've got Flora Williams and Nikki McDaniel from Texas A&M AgriLife. Thank you guys both so much for being here with you're us today. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. All right, let's uh, actually, before we get into uh, what Walk Across Texas is, let's start with some background. Do we know where this idea came from? Um, well, this is year 27th. Uh, historically, this is the 27th year that the program has been in existence. That's very cool. So, yeah, uh, it and actually it started here in Brazos County and other Texas counties and now it's in all 254 counties. So. That, that's really cool. All right. So uh, it's a good way to get moving. Yeah. Uh, how, how can we sign up? OK, so to sign up for Walk Across Texas, you go to howdyhealth.org or you can even go to howdyhealth.tamu.edu and just get signed up. Um, so it's an eight week program that you want to try to get up to eight people um, on your team and across the eight weeks, try to walk 833 miles um, to get the distance across Texas. So it is a virtual program. So mm -hmm. you're um, walking on your own. You're working as a group with your team and then you're just reporting your mileage. Yeah, we don't start until uh, February 10th, that's, correct? That's and correct. that that's kind of a, a good day because there's a kickoff party, right? So yes. if you're signed up, is that how do you get to the kickoff party? Um, the kickoff is going to be at 10 o'clock at the Texas AgriLife Extension office on Cross Park. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we have like different activities. You can work out inside or you can walk the park Hudson field outside. Oh, see, that's perfect. Uh, that trail is great for walking. on. It I, is. I know it well. Um, so um, can you explain uh, actually before we get to that? You said it's eight people per team, right? Yes, you can have up to eight people per team. And since it is a team event, it's kind of nice because you can hold each other accountable, exactly, correct? Right? Yes. It's 833 miles. Why that yes. number? Okay, so the distance across uh, the route that we're looking at taking is um, 800 and actually it's 832, but in Brazos <laughs> County we say 833 because we go the extra mile in. Brazos there you County. go. Uh, but that is like the, if you were to walk around Texas, right? <laughs> yes, it's a certain route across Texas. Mm -hmm. And if you join Walk Across Texas, you'll find out all about that route. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. really, really fun. Okay, uh, can you explain to me then the, the, the health benefits? I know it may seem obvious, getting up and moving around. Mm -hmm. That's what your doctor always tells you. You gotta, you gotta move around more. But, but this is a really cool way to do that, it right? Is. It is. Um, actually, it benefits everyone. Um, just by sticking with it, it's like a starter point. Mm -hmm. So it can benefit on prevention of some diseases, yeah. illnesses, or just to maintain some, like heart disease, diabetes, things like that. Very, very cool. We'll get this information put up on our website of how you can get in involved with Walk Across Texas. It starts on February 10th. Flora, Nikki, thank you both so much for being here with thank us. Thank you. All right.